Hi everyone, Pastor Ryan here, just wanting to give you a few reminders for this week. First off, this Sunday, January the 15th, we begin our new sermon series. It's called It Is Well, and we're going to be uh, looking at different um, mental and emotional, um, psychological, physiological um, issues in our culture, in our communities, in our homes. And uh, we're starting off this week with depression and suicide. So we really hope that you'll join us. Uh, we will have um, Sunday school available at the 11 o'clock service if that topic is a little too heavy for some of the younger ones. So feel free to uh, use that as well. But we'd encourage you to come. And we're really going to try to dig into these topics from a biblical perspective and see what God has to say um, as we move forward together. Also, on Sunday, we begin our new Bible study that's kind of in conjunction with the sermon series, but we're looking at uh, Dr. Tony Evans' book, Hope for the Hurting. If you don't have a copy of that, don't worry about it. We have plenty available for you to get uh, this coming Sunday, and that will be in the fellowship hall in between services from about 1010 to 1050. So please come and join us. I'd love to see you there for that as well. And then the following week, starting on the 18th, that's the uh, next Wednesday, a week from tomorrow, we begin uh, The Well, our Wednesday evening activities where we'll have dinner at 530 and then all of the programs that kick off at 6.30. And as a part of that, that's also in conjunction with our sermon series, we'll have a follow-up discussion and Bible study on depression and suicide um, that will take place uh, following dinner. So we hope that you'll be a part of that as well. We have uh, a guest who will be coming to answer some questions, who is a professional in the field, but we'll also look at some scripture um, to start off to keep ourselves grounded in the Word to see what God has to say. A big week for us. We hope that things are going well for you, that you and your family are healthy, and we look forward to seeing you this Sunday and this next week. God bless. Hey guys, Dave Merritt, Youth and Family Ministries Director here at Trinity Lutheran with this week's announcements. First, a big shout out and thank you to all of you. Yes, you guys that prayed for us at Youthquake. Again, we had five students and three adult shepherds that went along. Um, it was an amazing experience. Uh, we truly were reignited um, as we got or as we grew closer to the Lord that weekend. Reignite was our theme, and uh, we also learned an interesting saying. Uh, the devil may fool you, but Jesus will fuel you. And that was one of the main takes we took that that weekend, and I wanted to share that with you guys. So again, thank you for your prayers. And please uh, ask our students about Youthquake and any events that we go to. All right, first, our Kid Zone update. Please join us this Sunday, January 15th, as the Bartow family, Alyssa Reed and Renee Spencer, discuss how Jesus is our Lord, but also how he wants us to grow. Kid Zone is at 10.05 a.m. in the egg room, and Kid Zone Light is at 11 a.m. Uh, during the contemporary worship service during the sermon. Uh, we hope to see you guys there. We have a lot of uh, children's ministry events coming up. Uh, first off, we have the Enchanted Evening. It is the Fudge Dance, father, daughter, or any father figure. Um, and that is sponsored by the school, but also they would encourage us, our church families to come as well. That is Friday, February 10th from 6.30 to 8 p.m. And it's for ages uh, three through fifth grade. Fathers or father figures and daughters celebrate an enchanted evening of music and dancing. Ticket price includes a photo opportunity, finger foods and desserts, and a special gift for, the, for the, your little girl at the end of the dance. Tickets are $35 per father-daughter couple. And any questions, please respond to fudgedance at trinitylionsptl.org. We also have summer camp here at Trinity Lutheran. It's called Camp Roar. Reach, Overcome, Achieve, and Rejoice. That's uh, June 12th through August 11th, 8.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. Again, they are in weekly uh, times. It is $250 for an activity fee at registration and $250 per week of the camp. For more information, look to register at tlsonline.org. That's the email address, register at tlsonline.org. And our youth event and family event coming up for the month of February is our pizza and paint afternoon. That's going to be on Sunday, February 5th from 1230 to 3 p.m. The cost is $15 and includes pizza, water, and all supplies to create the picture. Please RSVP to me, Dave Merritt, dmerritt at trinityjapa.org by Sunday, January 29th, and I will send you to a link where you can also pay, it, or pay with that link. Our youth update. 
Just a reminder, our Wednesday well, we will be back to our normal well meal along with our Crossfire and J Crew meetings on Wednesday, January 18th. Again, uh, January 18th, we will begin our 5.30 to 8 p.m. Uh, meeting times. Our high school mission trip, we had a great meeting this weekend, but if you are interested or you know a student that's interested, it is July 9th through July 15th in Hazlitt, New Jersey. Uh, information packets are available and deposits are due by March 15th. So if you are interested or have any questions, need to contact me, Dave Merritt, dmerritt at trinijapa.org immediately. We did it. That was a lot of stuff, but again, we got through. And again, thank you guys for your support for our youth and children's ministry. I'm Dave Merritt. Have a great week. Hey, it's Lori Hinman. Happy New Year to all of you. I just have uh, one announcement for you today. It's about our Trips Up group. I just wanted to remind you about the beautiful noise trip to New York City to see the musical about uh, Neil Diamond, April 5th, 2023 already, believe it or not couple months away. It's $239 a person. Uh, that includes a $100 deposit due at uh, the sign-up time. And I do know that that's already two-thirds of the way full. So if you want that, um, include your bus ride up and back, your show tickets, uh, dinner. So it's a good deal. And uh, contact Barbara Gorton at barbaragorton at hotmail.com. And then just keep on your calendar. I don't have details yet, but sometime in June, probably the end of June, uh, they are going to take a trip to Mackinac Island in Michigan. It's supposed to be absolutely beautiful. And um, that's actually a place I've been looking forward to going. So put that on your calendars. Look for information. I'll give you details as soon as I have them. All right. Have a great day. Hi, I'm Mary Kay Coughlin. I'm your food ministry director coming to you between chapels so that we can get your messages out. I have my new co-host, is uh, my husband's droid, R-O-B-O. I didn't name him. So our food cause a challenge. A lot of things I have to tell you is repeat, but I just want to make sure that I'm emphasizing certain things. So the food closet challenge, still starches, mostly those white potatoes in cans and boxes. Um, I still am having trouble getting that. I've managed to get some rice now, so maybe not so much that, but stuffing is good. Some of the rice dishes um, that are less rice and more prepared rice, you know, like flavored rices could be could, would be cool. We're still doing the birthday boxes. I have a lot of these tags left. If I keep hitting the microphone, I'm very sorry for that. But um, I have a lot of these tags left. They are for the birthday boxes. Um, I'm hoping that we'll get some. Hopefully 30 is my goal. Uh, it says to return by January 22nd. But if you'd like to, if you have to hang on to it for a little bit longer, by the end of January, it would be great. Must-haves are cake mix, frosting, candles, eight dessert plates, at least eight napkins, and eight plastic forks so that they can basically make and eat a cake. Other possible items that you could put into the box is a banner that says happy birthday, a plastic tablecloth, other plastic utensils for eight people, a package of paper or plastic cups for eight people, bowls for if they're having ice cream too, and maybe balloons. So those are some other ideas, but the must-haves are so they can bake a cake and eat it. So then bonus blessings are outerwear. Um, please, they can be um, new or they can be gently used. So if you can go through and look and see what your kids have outgrown or what you've outgrown, um, or maybe you've lost weight, and so it's not an outgrow, it's an ingrow. I don't know if the, how that works, but um, if you could bring those. We're sorting them January 19th. From 3.15 to 5 p.m. We're looking for some volunteers for that. Uh, we're sorting them again in, on the 20th from 10 to noon. And then again after school time, 3.15 to 5 p.m. Then the regular delivery stuff. Packing the groceries from 1 to 2.30 on January 21st. Going out to Joppa from 2.30 to 5 on January 22nd. Meeting up and loading up the truck. Going out to Edgewood and, and then unloading the truck from and that's from 12.45 to 4.45. There's a sign-up genius. I know some of you have already signed up on it. That link will be included. And then lastly, um, Hook Yarn and Stitchers. Uh, we're meeting up instead of the first Wednesday of the well, we're going to do our uh, first Wednesday of the month. We're going to do the first Wednesday of the well this month, which would be January 18th if you haven't heard yet. I'm sure somebody else in these announcements have mentioned it. And um that's what I got for you. You guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you on Sunday.